What, what is this? What's going on? Oh, we're going to record it on the overhead, of course. Are we? I'm going to press the refresh button. Yeah? Oh, I'm going to do another ch Did I spit on your screen? Maybe, maybe, no. Did so I spit on your screen? All the tests are green. Can you confirm? All tests are green. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. only green boxes, no red or yellow boxes. No red boxes. No, that's just deletions. Uh, oh, that's a diff. Right, OK, right, green, yeah. green boxes. Green yeah. boxes. OK. Submit to CQ. Whatever that means. Commit Q. I don't. Oh. So it's now queued up for commit. Oh. Oh, Boom. Like, ow. We can aggressive. use that as the end card or something. Whew. OK. <laughs> well, now that the end's done with. Let's do the start. Should we do the first? start of the episode? <laughs> Great. I, I, yeah. I, mm, mm. yeah. This is our third go at recording this episode. <laughs> First time, went well, didn't it? It was really good. Oh, oh, it's a good episode. We were so high energy. So uh, the is energy is going to be at All an, good things come in threes. Yeah, as we try and remember all of the off the cuff funny things we said during the other records and we'll crowbar them in. <laughs> Whether totally you like naturally. it or not. Here we go. Off you go. Because we are funny. Go on. <laughs> Go on, so. so talk, talk me through your disgusting kerning first, right? Oh, this the is, kerning. This is not getting any easier every time. <laughs> yeah, every I've seen, time. <laughs> third time I've seen this screen. And look, what is this? You could drive a plane down that. and the, uh, It's not I, my personal. This is just how Chrome layouts this font. Oh, so we're saying Chrome's bad. Yeah. Excellent. Go okay. fix it. Fine. I did. That's what I did. I fixed Chrome. You fixed Chrome? Well, not all of Chrome. I, oh. I, I have. I, I now so it's have. still broken. It is still broken. OK. Mostly. But the part right. that now works that didn't work before. I fixed that. You, you now I, have code in Chrome. I, I have code in Chrome. Well, All right. most likely. So Tell me for it. Again. <laughs> <laughs> so I work on a side project, which yep. doesn't really matter. But basically, if you know you have an image, it's not square, but you kind of want it to be square, you can either crop in or you can make it bigger and fill in the, the, the empty parts with a nice color. So you, and, so you have an image that is the correct shape. You are making it square, but then you are making it square within like, yeah, let, let, it's called letterboxing. I, I did the thing. Yeah, it's for Instagram. Of course it is. It's for Instagram <laughs> because they do their images square. Apparently, you can also do five by four ratio, but who does that? Who who does that? Okay, so right. here, so the the part that I want to talk about is that in this app I used WebAssembly because sometimes that's fun. That's cool. It actually wasn't necessary, I think, but I thought it was quite fun. Um, and just to remind everyone, this is how you use WebAssembly. You fetch. <laughs> Is it, is it required that you go that high when you say WebAssembly? The, the fun fact, I only do this in English. I apparently never do this when I speak German. In, when you speak German, it is one tone only. Monotonous, but not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said but not funny, and that is, that <laughs> is <laughs> funny. Uh, right, so WebAssembly. WebAssembly. Here we go. So you fetch your WebAssembly binary. And you just throw it into instantiate streaming. That yep. gives you back an instance. And that instance has the functions that you can call this is WebAssembly. Yep. And so I wrote this code and I developed and it was fun. And so, you know, in Chrome it was fine. Yes. And I was like, let's test on other browsers. And then Firefox went, nah, this doesn't work. And I was like, Firefox, you stupid. Wait, so you okay, so you've chosen to to use a green cross there to, yeah. to acknowledge. There, there, in you know, in Unicode, there is no cross in a square. That is red. Only the green one. There's a red really? cross by itself. But, but no, there's no. There's no equivalent to this in red. That's horrible. Yeah, I was really sad. And so I was like, I could just use the free floating X, but it looked no, stupid. No, it looked terrible. Like, yeah. Should you use CSS, like hue rotate filter? <sighs> oh, I should have used that. There you go. I'm so Top tips. I'm so disappointed in myself now. <laughs> oh, well. You could have done it between one of the three takes we've done <laughs> so far. <laughs> Anyway. Anyway. So um, yeah, Firefox wasn't working. I was like, what did it do wrong now? Why is Firefox not working? Like, can they just fix it? Like, it works in Chrome. It must should be working in Firefox, of course. Yeah. And so I looked uh, into the console and saw response has an unsupported MIME type. Hmm. And I was like, does it, though? Hmm. Does it, though? Because Chrome is clearly accepting it. It can't be that wrong. And so I've been using HP Server for a while now. I've been using it here as well for development. Oh, this is the node, the one that's on yeah. NPM, right? Yeah, yeah. OK. Yeah, I use so it. So I used that, did a curl, and I found this content time. I was like, eh. Ah. Eh. I mean, it ah. doesn't really make sense to define a character. I was hoping me and you were just going to carry on making <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> we should do that. Like yeah. a squeaky chair. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, this is this is the specific bit I'm ahhing at. 
I don't know. If and you I'm like, looking, eh. I'm looking at this and going like, eh. Okay. So I mean, a character set doesn't really make sense for a binary. Exactly. Because, um, but also the, the the core part is that it's defined as application wasm, and so it is intended to be WebAssembly and should be interpreted as WebAssembly. The char set, yeah, it doesn't really matter. And, and I guess uh, eh. Firefox was being pedantic, and Chrome was just being like, eh, eh. and just <laughs> accepting it. And I was like, well, Firefox should fix it. Yes. And so I was opening an issue. And then one of the Firefox engineers came back to me and said, like, well. Actually. Actually. Well. The spec is quite explicit and says, extra parameters are not allowed. Oh, they, did they do that? They wagged the finger like, oh, On every know. single line. Yeah, they went into a video like, call with so, me. Like just karaoke. <laughs> that you could have you could <laughs> sang that line at them. OK. So even if you just have a semicolon at the end, which is a separator between the mime type and the extra parameters, uh, that is already not allowed. And so really, what we discovered is that Firefox was technically correct, while Chrome was being lenient but not spec compliant. And it's n this is not unusual, is it? The amount of times that I found something like, oh, Firefox, blah, 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 and then you look at it and it's like, oh, it's correct. Everything, everyone else is Chrome. Is, yeah. 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 And, okay. and I was like, why, why isn't the tests? Why, why, you know, this, these are kind of things that I would, because it's so explicit in the spec as well. And this seems very strict. I don't know why there's a strict, but if you are the strict, put it in a test. Well, oh, there are tests. And that. sadly, you can't read what these tests are about because they kind of clip it away. And only if you hover it with your mouse, they sh hide the results to show you the. Whatever. OK, we're basically, seeing, we're seeing Basically, red these here. tests right. test if you reject invalid MIME types. Ah, OK. And Chrome okay. is not, fa uh, not passing those tests because it is not rejecting those invalid MIME types. Yep. Firefox, on the other hand, well done them. They are yep. completely test compliant. And it's Safari. Well, Safari is a fail because they don't implement the streaming APIs at all. Oh, OK. They don't even have the function right. call. So, so they're, they're not getting the MIME type wrong. They just don't have the API. Exactly. Fair enough. Fair um, enough. What we see here is that tests have been failing, and nobody cared about it. And I was very really surprised by that. And it turns out, as I learned later on, that usually whenever you accept that a test is not failing, you have to attach a bug to it inside Chrome. And say, yeah. like, OK, this test is not failing. Here's a bug that we're working on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These tests didn't have that. What? I don't know why. My, my hunch is that these tests were added after we already implemented the streaming APIs and that some right. oversight happened along the way. This is still not good. I'm just saying like, it's probably the state. Nobody was aware that this is the current state of things. That's, that's fair, because sometimes when like the first browser, you know, a browser will implement something first, the other one will come and start working on it, and they'll find like an inconsistency in the spec, and they'll add tests to make exactly. it specific. And so that's probably, yeah. Something probably like that will have happened okay. here. And so I was thinking, that's an interop problem. Yes, we don't it like is. interop problems because something works in Chrome and not in Firefox, and that is where you usually end up in issues in production. And I was like, you know what? Can I fix it? Is this something that is simple enough that I can do it myself? Ooh. And so oh. I, I did. I had two engineers, um, Andreas Haas and Clemens, who is not on here, oh. um, who helped me through this entire process of learning how to actually clone Chrome, compile Chrome, which how to find the files I need to patch. Yes. Um, it's a big old project, Chrome, isn't it? Like it it's, is. Yeah, yeah. If I didn't have a, a computer farm full of compilers that Google gave me, it apparently takes a good amount of hours. Yes, it does. In this case, it only takes 20 minutes. Ah, yes. Um, but in the end, it turned down to be a one-line change. So basically, the, the function streaming instantiate and streaming compile do this MIME type check, where it's like, is the MIME type not application WebAssembly? Right, yeah, seems now, good. Now, the fun fact is that MIME type is a helper function by us that strips away extra parameters from the content type header. So anything after the semicolon right, gets see, ignored. See. So what okay. I'm doing instead, I now call Content type, which gives me the literal content type header, turned to lowercase because you know if you write application uppercase or lowercase or something like that, doesn't matter. That's the change. That's the entire change. And now ship it. Yeah, and I did. I opened the CL as you saw, and then someone came along and said, "Well, well, I applaud your effort because this is interop. <laughs> nice try, but but we are doing the worst kind of interop where we go from something that works to now that is something that doesn't work." Right. Which is correct, because you know, if there is a site in the wild that does this header with char set blah, blah, blah at the end, it worked so far, and now it stops working. And if you break a large site for a lot of users, That's and they go, what did you do? And you say, ha ha, I think you'll find it's now spec, spec compliant. <laughs> and they're like, wow, that's OK then. Great. 
Yeah. We'll find so, that millions of users couldn't access our products. Correct. So they okay. said the code review was fine, like it's the correct code. I mean, it didn't arrive here instantaneously. I had code reviews, and they caught some bugs and blah. Um, but they said we probably either want to send out the deprecation notice first mm -hmm. or make sure we are not actually breaking a significant amount of sites. Right. And so it turns out that in Chrome, we often we gather some user metrics where you know what kind of files are even being loaded. Is a certain API even being used? How often this, is this code path happening? Yeah. This yeah. kind of thing is not tracked. So it's not like we track the content type header, which with a certain type is delivered over the network. That is not something that's right. We could add that, but it takes six weeks to roll out. Then yep. we have to gather the data. That's a long old process. We've done it with service worker stuff. Yep, yep. What yep. we have instead, and which apparently some Chrome engineers didn't think of, which I found quite interesting, is we have HTTP archive. Yes, we do. HTTP archive crawls five million pages every month, I think, roughly. Yes, and it's it's, it's slanted towards the like the, a set of top sites, yeah, right? Like the most Popular sites are yep. crawled, and like the, the amount of pages increase, but they add you know from the top of the list they keep adding, yep. and all the results, basically all the fetches, all the assets are put into a big old database, and then you can use BigQuery oh, with some is. pseudo SQL syntax yep, to I've run run some analysis on it. And this is what I did. So what I did is I took the summary requests, all the requests that were sent during one of these crawls. And I got the content type column and basically just counted for all the files that end in WASM yep. what their content type header was. And apparently, this is uh. about 60 gigabytes of data, which is, you know, considering it's just text, it's quite a bit. And this is not just something that's like internal Google thing, right? No, no this, this is, is public. Anyone can yep. do this. Open There's, source, public yeah, yeah. database. Yep. Um, and so, yeah, I did this query and I turned it into a spreadsheet. Yay, spreadsheet. So, out of these 5 million pages that are being crawled, Roughly 2,000 even use WebAssembly at all. Oh, well, well that's awesome. It's popular, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yeah. mm. It's pretty new. It's yeah, pretty new. It, uh, and out of these 2,000 pages, or actually out of these 5 million pages, exactly one page has a WebAssembly file that would go from working to not working. Right, because it has the. So and that even then, and that's, I think it's very important to say that, it, it doesn't mean that this site would break, because it would only break if it uses the streaming API, which it right. probably does not, because Safari doesn't implement it. Safari doesn't implement it, and this would be failing in Firefox. And it would well, be failing in Firefox currently. So, that's, I, so that HTTP server thing, it definitely says on the NPM package, like, this is for development, this yeah. is not for live. I, I bet that's, it could I be. that's the same it, server. It could be. Yeah. It yeah. could be. So All that right. means overall, 0.00002% of pages are potentially affected by my cha change. So it would actually, be, given like the amount of time you have to have a deprecation notice in yeah. Chrome, it would actually be a better use of your time to go and hand deliver a letter to the one person yeah. who runs that site. <laughs> but but just go around to the house and just like <laughs> fix it on their computer. I know you can fix things remotely, but it would still be quicker to go around uh, to we'll their house be, yes. and say, "Excuse me, hi, can I just can I just get to your laptop?" <laughs> And so when so they say something will be closely investigated, something that is like a deprecation or a breaking change, if you are on 0.03% or more. So okay. we are way below that here. So Pretty in much. this case, they said, you know, it's fine. You don't need to hand out a deprecation notice or anything like that. We can go ahead with this. And so just now, press press the merge button. Literally just now. Um, so this, this this is a change to the other two takes of this episode we've done because <laughs> it hadn't gone through yet. No, just literally because now. of the delay, the bots finally finished their tests. All the tests went green. I could press the merge button, which means did you engineer the delays? Did you have you been tampering with the I've equipment been, just been, so you could have? I've been found out. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, by tomorrow or day after tomorrow, it should be in Chrome Canary. Which is sometime in the past when this episode goes out. Just, yeah. just it's in just Canary now. Out. Yeah. At home. Brilliant. Ch check it out now. And if it's yeah. not in Canary now, it means the patch has been reverted because Serma broke everything. Oh, yeah, and I put the I put the commit the, the CL ID on so mm. people can go check. Yeah, you can go check it out and make fun of me. Oh god, what did, what did I do? Bye bye. Um, bye. See you happy next time. Click the subscribe button. Press the bell. If you want to get notifications, click the bell, push the bell. The bell. I have no idea what you're on about, but do all of the those bell. things. Mm. The bell. Bell. And this is the end, so it's the bell end. <laughs>